morning everyone this is Dalat morning time morning traffic nothing compared to like uh, Saigon and what a beautiful morning it is oh my god of this sun yes because they've just had their rainy season and we're on the edge of it now so we're quite lucky that it's not pissing now or raining <laughs> this place up here what you see in front all greenery that's the gardens uh, what they do there they grow flowers and vegetables that you can buy the seeds and do it yourself and then just stroll around all the different garden shapes that they've done there it's rather nice not expensive either and during the evening time get one of these sit in one of them all nice and romantic and here's the lake on the right hand side obviously this is one nice little town I really love it so what we're gonna do we're gonna mosey around this lake I think out, out of all the places I've been in Vietnam all the towns, cities, villages and that this place wow this bouncy road this place is the best in my opinion it just has that certain charm about it you know there's so many of the uh, places outside the countryside with the, lake, with the lakes it's very much like going in Scotland it just looks the same you get a lot of people coming down here on nice sunny days having picnics along this grass and it's only here that you see real grass all the places that's down sea level they don't grow it so much because this grass needs a lot of water and up here it gets a lot of rain so it's lucky in that sense but for the only town that I know that has grass everywhere not the Asian grass which the leaves are very thick and long and that green dome you're seeing over there on the left what that is is a coffee shop and the place there looks like a donut that's Big C it's a supermarket and it's all underground except for the uh, coffee shop you sit amongst the glass up the top there and that place over there another coffee shop and you can hire the swans not the real ones, the boats we'll do a quick drive down to the market area well maybe not that quick because of the traffic We don't want to knock anybody down, do we? No. And that building in front is the market. And at night time, on both sides of the road here, they have all the stalls out selling every goddamn thing you could imagine, including food. Like all different types of vegetables, all types of veg um, fruit sell fruit, clothing, <laughs> everything and there as well and at night time this place shuts the inside and everything is outside and those steps that you see just there you've got people on both sides making like pancakes and they put sausages and stuff like that on it very very cheap another coffee shop as you can probably see there's a lots of hotels here as well this place is swarming with hotels and classy ones as well 
five-star hotel which is up there on the hill TTC hotel rather nice inside you know ah the sun's coming out thank you sun because it was cloudy earlier on it wasn't worth doing any video so I thought I'll wait until this blue sky started to appear all these places here on the left are restaurants and coffee shops and that building right ahead of us is the cinema the old type with wooden chairs yeah. and it's still operating and these are the hills I was mentioning earlier on you get plenty of hills here and I think it's that's its charm there's a coffee shop here in the corner if I, now here this place, burger place and all that that's where all the bikers come all the fellows with the big machines they come here and congregate it's a good place to uh, go there to find out adventure tours find out new places because these guys they go everywhere telling you stories interesting stories as well so it's worth a chat if you, have, if you have an idea of a place you want to go speak to these guys and they will put you in the picture make you wiser when you get there where I'm going now I'm going to go to this restaurant and it's a vegetarian restaurant and you pay a staggering price of 20,000 dong that's about 70 pence that's like less than a dollar you know unbelievable and it's food wise fantastic tasty really nice even if you're not a vegetarian it's lovely and it's healthy there's no additives in it or whatsoever but what else is so nice about the place is the scenery when you look out because as you probably notice it's a very hilly place we're at and we're climbing up again now and the restaurant is one of those buildings there so when you look down it drops down into a valley and the restaurant is just like that here we are So we folks are gonna gonna go in there to have some nosh. They have a flower festival here once a year and this place comes to a gridlock because everybody, and I mean everybody from Vietnam comes to this place. The hotels are fully booked and the road is full as well. And the different type of driving skills people bring with them it is unbelievable here. So, but it's only on for what two weeks and you're probably wondering when that's a good damn question that when is it yes I think it's August but I can't say for sure now my mind has gone completely blank I shall put a little write up here to say when the festival is it is a wonderful thing because you have flowers everywhere flower floats parades a lot you know it's it's so wonderful well as you can see bag packed ready to leave 
holiday in Sant in uh, Dalat is finished. It was enjoyable, it was nice, especially the ride. Leaving Saigon was quite adventurous to say the least. And now getting ready. This is one of my uh, Krieger bags. I used to, well I still have, I still have the big one that goes on the back, big 30 litre thing. Uh, but I don't use that now. What I use is this Givy bag box thing. I have to say they are so much quicker and easier to operate than the bags. Nothing wrong with the bags, they're good, but boxes just seem to be a little bit easier, especially if it's raining, pouring down, and you want to get the thing off. This is a key in, turn, press button, and lift out. But when you've got a Krieger bag on, you've got straps to undo, you know, and it's a bit, uh, bit of a pain. My roof helmet, my gloves, love the roof helmet, especially in the new model. It's the one with the double X. <laughs> it's slightly uh, more roomier, different material to have used. And yes, it's it fits great and it's wonderful because it's a full face helmet plus open face. There you are, that's outside my balcony. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. Hope I haven't spoken too soon. I just turned around and saw that nice cloud up there. And that's the direction I'm heading. So, let's hope it's cleared. So, go for breakfast now. And then jump on the bike and start heading back home.